Good morning, everybody. I, as usual, out for my morning walk and uh, the sun coming up there behind me. It's my favorite time of the day. Get out, get a little exercise so that when I spend the rest of the day sitting in front of the computer, I don't have to feel guilty. This video that I'm making right now came to mind when one day I was flying my Mavic and it struck me how absolutely stable this thing was and how incredible the gimbal technology to be able to keep an image stable not only because it's locked into position by GPS and the drone isn't moving but even in the wind when the drone is bouncing around the picture looked pretty stable. So I decided that I, it might be fun to explore exactly how stable this thing is. I, I really noticed this in the footage I shot of the SpaceX launch last month. When I noticed that the rocket didn't seem to be bouncing around in the sky, it, it kind of reminded me of the long-range stabilized cameras that the uh, that NASA and the Air Force used to track these things and I'm saying well these are millions of dollars worth of equipment here I got this little can basically consumer drone up there and it's it's doing the same thing so I decided to do a few tests to see just exactly how stable this thing is and I used my Mavic Zoom to film the uh, SpaceX launch so what I did was I put it into post-processing and just started blowing the thing up. And the results of, of those tests I've put into this video. And I think you'll be very interested to see just exactly how stable DJI's gimbal technology and drones are. So with that, stay tuned and here we go. Well, this is shot with the Mavic 2 zoom the day I shot the SpaceX launch, and this is the optical zoom from 24 to 48 millimeter. Now I'm going to blow it up in post-processing uh, step by step. Here we're at 200 percent, 96 millimeter equivalent. And what I'm looking for in these is, uh, is the rocket actually bouncing around or jittering in the center of the frame? Now I know that uh, it's going to start to get pixelated because this is a digital zoom after all. But the stability of it is, is what I was looking to see. And now we're at 600 percent or close to 300 millimeter equivalent. And that is just rock solid. Uh, as we're approaching uh, 500 millimeter lens equivalent, uh, that's something that nobody can handhold, and even on a tripod, that's shaky at best. And yet, uh, from this uh, Mavic 2 zoom drone up in the air, uh, it's like a tripod in the sky. I was very, very surprised that it was that stable. I didn't expect it, to be honest. Now, the morning I went out to the beach to shoot this sunrise with the Mavic 2 Pro, I thought I'd use some of this footage to see how the Mavic 2 Pro did. And I'm gonna step it up in bigger increments this time. There's a 420 millimeter equivalent, and what I'm looking at here is the horizon line. It, you know, how far is it moving up and down? Is it bouncing or jittering? And 
I'm going to take this up eventually to 1400 millimeter equivalent. There it is, and uh, that is, is just rock solid. I can't say enough about the stability of these gimbals. Now what I watched for in this clip was uh, down at the lower right where you can see the uh, growth on the sand I wanted to see if it you know how well it was holding its position and it was breezy out there there was a little bit of movement but uh, all in all I think it was pretty solid for the next set of uh, tests I went back to some footage I shot last year with my original Mavic Pro where it was just hovering on a very windy day so the gimbal there is no jitter in the gimbal that I've noticed, and any movement that you notice in, in the, uh, the window moving around in the frame there uh, is just the, the drone compensating for the wind, but, it, but the, the gimbal is still pretty stable. I think the Mavic 2 does a better job of holding position than the Mavic 1, but uh, the Mavic 1 was no slouch. Now there's a 1300 millimeter equivalent. And you can see by looking at the trees how breezy it was that day. So after watching all that, I guess you'd have to agree with me that the gimbals on the DJI drones are about as stable as you could, you could ever want them. It's kind of like having a tripod up in the air. With that, we'll wrap it up. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel, click the bell, and visit me on one of my live streams and chime in in the chat. As always, I'm going to give you the rest of the day off. Go play with your drone and have a great day. Bye-bye.